Hey Conway, today is Wednesday, September 24th, and you're watching the CHS Student News. I'm Peyton. And I'm Matt. And, and here's, here's your, your news. news. In school news, after all the anticipation, election results were finally announced today. And here's the results. For the sophomore class, the representatives are Emmanuel Swinton, Matthew Altman, and Chandler Van Dusen. For the secretary treasurer, Tamara Fogel. For vice president, Jihad Levermore. And for president, Cameron Walford. For the junior class, the representative is Mary Susan Hughes, Brian Edwards, and Lance Schofield. Secretary and Treasurer, Brandon Thompson. The Vice President is Aria Brantley, and the President is Jake Memnall. For the senior class, representatives are Anna Gardner, Candace Besant, and Anna Watson. Secretary slash Treasurer is Tay Falk. And for Vice President, Lavonica Williams. And for President, Ikea Daniels. The student body Secretary and Treasurer is Coco Robinson. The Vice President is Peyton Andrusi and the president is Matt Alford. There's also an anchor club meeting today right after school, and you'll see me there. In local news, DHEC has confirmed that something called enterovirus is in South Carolina. The symptoms of this disease includes flu-like symptoms, headaches, chest pains, blurred vision, etc. You can avoid enterovirus by having good hand hygiene, covering your cough, and basically staying away from people or things that could possibly make it pass on to you. In national news, a Kentucky firefighter, Captain Tony Grider, has died weeks after participating in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge that went horribly wrong. Electricity from a power line shocked four firefighters on a ladder as they sprayed water on a group of college students below who were trying to pull off a charity stunt. So he died from burn-related injuries. Now for the club and guidance report. Now for the club and guidance news. The FCA will be meeting every Wednesday morning at 7.45 a.m. They will be meeting in the course room. It is open to everyone. The ASVAB testing will be next week, September 30th, for all students interested in the military after high school. All juniors and seniors, please sign up in the main office. High school military expo will be Wednesday the 24th between 10 a.m. and 1.40 p.m. The Pet Rally Colors. Students Council will be incorporating a few things this year for school spirit. All these grade levels will be wearing a certain color. Freshmen will be wearing white, sophomores, gold or yellow, juniors, green, seniors get to wear all colors. Seniors, remember joustings will be here Thursday, September 25th between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. And Friday, September 26th between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. Joustings will also be taking ring payments for juniors at this time. Junior ring payments. Joustons will be there Thursday, September 25th between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. And Friday, September 26th, 11 a.m. between 4 p.m. Drama Club will be meeting this coming Wednesday after school. Come join us to plan for the upcoming Haunted House. Now for the weather. Hi, I'm Jalit with your weather. Today's high will be 70 and rainy. Tonight's low will be 62. And tomorrow, guess what? It'll be rainy again with a high of 76. That's all for your weather. Now back to the desk. Thanks guys, now over to Marcus and Jameer with sports. What's going on y'all? What's up? This is Marcus. And this is Jameer. We're with the Conway High School Sports. The Tennessee Volunteers will be facing the Georgia Bulldogs this Saturday. The Tennessee Volunteers are two and one. Georgia Bulldogs are two and one also. That's gonna be a great game, Jameer. How do you feel about that? Game. I think it's gonna be a good game, but I think Georgia's gonna win. I think they're gonna take it. I think Ty Gurley's gonna do good mm -hmm. rushing wise. Yeah. I think they're gonna be good. Me too. Also in college football news. Missouri will be playing the South Carolina Gamecocks this Saturday. Missouri is three and one. And South Carolina is three and one. And South Carolina is two and one in the SEC. How do you think? How do you feel about that game? I think it's gonna be a great game because they're both three and one. Right. That's gonna be a great game. They're going. They're gonna go battle for battle, right. and especially off offense. Dylan Thompson, I think, they're gonna have a great game. Yeah. Uh, due to the weather, there was no tennis yesterday, but now to the sports scoreboard. 
The Conway High girls volleyball team took a match yesterday against the Sox D Braves, and they lost three to zero. This is a college football question, Jameer. If a team does not win their conference championship, should they be allowed to be in this new college football playoff? Um, I don't think so. I mean, if you get to the conference championship, I mean, you got to put in work. Yeah. You don't just go to the championship and then lose because obviously they, they don't want to lose. They exactly. want to win the championship. Exactly. So really, there's no point of you going to the championship and losing and still being in the playoffs. Like, if you want to win, win it all. Don't just win. Like, that's like basketball. NCAA. Exactly. Hey, you don't want to win the NIT. You want to win the NCAA yeah. championship. All right, now, Heisman pick. Heisman pick. Who do you think going to win the Heisman? Ooh. You already know how I'm going. I'm going with Marcus Mariota out of Oregon. I, I don't really know. I think I'm going to roll with Marcus Mariota for right now. All right. Because he's been doing pretty good. Thank you. Back to Peyton and Matt. Thanks, guys. Now for the feature of the day. WTJR, welcome. This is Beach Week. This is the week leading to the Battle of the Bell, Myrtle Beach and Conway. We'll have a series of interviews, questions, and many more this week from the big Myrtle Beach game. Peyton, what do you think about this game this week? I think it's a really important game for us, and uh, I think we're going to do really well in it since we're coming off some hype and bigger last week against Marlboro County, and uh, I think we did really good. What do you think of the Myrtle Beach game? Uh, yeah, I know. So. I think we get that W real easy because like you hyped up, confidence build up, so we're going to win. Brian, what do you think about this game? Uh, I think it's a real important game for Conway, you know, the students and the team. I think we win this game and it's going to be a big season for us. Now, Peyton, how does it feel to start your first game against Myrtle Beach? Uh, obviously, there's a lot of hype going into it. It's a big bell game. Uh, personally, I'm ready to play, ready to get after it, um, you know, do what we can do and get the W. All right, go Conway. Let's get this win. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Matt. And I'm Peyton. All right, Johnny. What do you have for us?